actually were at 4.1 gigahertz. They're 4.1. Now, it wouldn't be IDF if we didn't try to kick this up a notch. And so, uh, on the fly here, we're going to um, push the gas pedal, and we're actually going to just push it until it breaks. So we're going to see how far we can go. So I'm going to start with my gas pedal here, and I'm just going to start turning it up. Now, obviously we've tweaked this pre-production CPU to get this kind of performance. But it's still made on the 0.13 micron process, and the uh, CPUs we're using have very narrow LEN, LEP channels, channel widths, and we're pushing the extremes of voltages, clock spews, ratios, and active cooling. So let me just, uh, I, I know we can go higher than this, and I'm just, oh boy. We're just gonna keep going. Okay. Oh, similar kinds of things. So we see this application as facilitating uh, our experience for our customers. Very nice. Looks like a regular laptop, doesn't it? Sure does. Watch this. <laughs> Very cool. Come on, come on, come on. This is awesome. Like that interpolation. It is spectacular between the left and the right. Now this is a charming video of a child discovering music on an airplane for the first time. Exactly what every parent wants to have and cherish. You can see the hyperthreading is recording all the frames quite well. Looks like our non hyperthreaded machine. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's jerky. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we actually are recording. Go ahead and stop this. Close out our application. I'll go ahead and play what I recorded. Pretty smooth and seamless. On all of our hearts and minds are the terrible events of September 11, 2001. But uh, Sean will co cover a lot of it too. But to start at the bottom here, we have our Itanium 2 four way server. And this is just like the Itanium 2s that Paul showed us on Monday. But this one's here in a, in a smaller chassis. And this one happens to be running Microsoft.NET Server. Okay, and powering our eViz application, we actually have two clusters. And each of these clusters features two four way Intel Xeon processor MP based systems. Well, it's now a transceiver. Uh, this is taking that 10 gig link once again down even further. So we're progressing from something almost the size of a motherboard down, 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 down. Uh, this guy is small enough to uh, fit into a PCI card, and it's going to be a, a technology which will. comes with a digitizing screen. What that is is the pin talks to the to the screen. This allows you to step through things without actually touching the screen. Also I'll go into the difference with XP edition is that it has journal. And what journal is is a handwriting recognition software. Okay, put it back to pin. Sorry, I missed it. Alrighty then. This gives you an example of how the handwriting works. So these two servers have uh, serial ATA RAID cards in them with serial ATA backplanes, hot swap drives. So you implementing serial ATA in a, in a for cost effective uh, in the server environment. We offer ultra high performance SCSI based uh, PCIX RAID. Uh, four-channel solutions for uh, large uh, uh, storage environments down to desktop and workstation applications where we've just launched uh, Serial ATA. OEMs, ODMs say, choose lean parts. You have a buffet of choice. There's lean parts, power-optimized components versus battery parts. Choose the lean parts. And also be found your Oak Center Battle Life program is one of the four mobility vectors we're, we're, we're pushing. There's also performance, um, which demands longer battery time.